Hi students, hope you all are doing good. Welcome to science class and my second video. Last video, I have given course structure of annual examination. Once again, I am showing you the same thing. It helps you during annual examination. Let us revise first video of electricity. Electricity is a form of energy. Electricity has two types, static electricity and current electricity. Study of charges at rest is known as static electricity. Study of charges in motion is known as current electricity. In this lesson, you are going to explore knowledge about charges in motion, that is current electricity. Now, about electric current and circuit. Last video you have learned what is current. That is rate of flow of charge in unit area or flow of charges in unit area in unit second. The formula is I is equal to Q by T. The SI unit of current is Ampere. It is named after the French scientist Henri Marie Ampere. The SI unit of charge is Coulomb. And this is also named after a French scientist called Charles Augustine D. Coulomb. Remember children, one Coulomb of charge contains 6 into 10 to the power 18 electrons. Last video I have proved it with a simple formula Q is equal to NE. Each electron possesses a negative charge of 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 Coulomb. And the next SI unit of time is second, which is well known to you. And the next one is Ampere, the definition. The flow of 1 Coulomb of charge per second is defined as Ampere. And the formula is 1 Ampere is equal to 1 Coulomb per second. Small quantity of current is expressed in milliampere or in microampere. 1 milliamp is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 amp. 1 microamp is equal to 10 to the power minus 6 amp, which helps you people to solve in numericals. Conversion of milliampere to ampere. A meter is an instrument used to measure electric current in a circuit. It is always connected in series in a circuit through which the current is to be measured. Here, figure 1, figure 2 shows you different types of ammeter. Figure 1, which is an ampere ammeter, which measures 10 amps. Its range is 10 amps. Whereas, figure 2 measures milliampere, which is smallest unit, and its range is 0 to 500 milliamp. Whereas, figure 3 shows you a simple circuit where a meter is connected in series with battery. Positive of battery is connected to the positive of the meter and negative of a meter is connected to the bulb. This is known as series connection. Now, about electric circuit. It is a closed path along which an electric current flow. Direction of flow of positive charge is the direction of conventional current. It is given in below figure where the bulb is glowing. Current flows from positive charge to negative charge. Direction of current is opposite to the direction of flow of electron in a circuit. Now let us move to another new topic that is flow of charge inside a wire. All of you have learned in your lower class about conductor, insulator and semiconductor. And all you have learned metals are good conductors. Let us understand how does a metal conduct electricity. To understand conduction of electricity in a metal, we need to have an idea about atomic structure of metal. Inside the metal, the atoms are packed together with very little spacing between them. But it turns out that the electrons are able to travel through a perfect metal smoothly and easily. Electrons in metal move with a certain average drift speed. That is very less. That is 1 millimeter per 
second because in a metal electron moves from one atom to another atom and to the next atom to go from one end to another end it takes a lot of time if you understand one millimeter per second means electron moves one millimeter in one second that is a average drift speed of an electron let us understand another physical quantity electric potential and potential difference what makes electric charge to flow charges do not flow in a copper wire by themselves like a water in a horizontal pipe imagine a horizontal pipe where water is not flowing if you want to make water to flow one end has to have a higher level so understand that let us go for an activity in a figure it is given two tank tank a and tank b water in a tank a and b are connected with a pipe and are kept at a same height or potential then water does not flow to make water to flow from tank a to b we have to raise the height of tank a the difference in water pressure make the water to flow from tank a to tank b similarly for flow of charges in conducting metallic wire there should be a difference of electric pressure that is called potential difference The difference of electric potential is produced by a battery in a circuit sets the charges in motion in the conductor and produces electric current. In order to maintain that current in a given electric circuit, the cell has to expand its stored energy. That is what potential difference. That according to the physics, definition of potential difference can be defined as the, the potential difference between two points in an electric circuit carrying some current as the work done to move a unit charge from one point to the other it is denoted as v potential difference is equal to work done by charge formula is v is equal to w by q the si unit of electric potential difference is volt it is also named after the scientist the italian physicist alessandro volta in a circuit if i say one volt potential difference that is between two points that can be defined as when one joule of work is done to move a charge of one coulomb from one point to other that is the reason it is given as one volt is equal to one joule by one coulomb so the potential difference is measured by using instrument called voltmeter the voltmeter is always connected in parallel across the points between which the potential difference is to be measured the below figure shows about voltage meter whose range is 0 to 10 and beside a circuit diagram is shown where bulb is glowed and along with that end of the bulbs voltmeter is connected that is parallel connection let us understand some example i have given example 12.2 and in text question number 3 the first question example 12.2 how much work is done in moving a charge of 2 coulomb across two points having a potential difference of 12 volts let us go for a solution write first given q that is charge that is equal to 2 potential difference that is equal to 12 volts and already you know the formula v is equal to w by q that is w is equal to v into q substitute the given v is 12 and q is 2 12 twos are 24 joules in text question which is given in page number 202
how much energy is given to each coulomb of charge passing through a 6 volts battery and the solution is given potential difference 6 volts charge is equal to 1 coulomb and formula already knows that is V is equal to W by Q W is equal to V into Q substitute the values you will get 6 joules It is often convenient to draw a schematic diagram in which different components of electric circuit are represented by symbols conveniently used. Conventional symbols used to represent some of the most commonly used electrical components are given in the below table. The first one an electric cell which is known to you people you have learned in 7th class. Second one a battery or a combination of cells. Third one plug key or switch open represented with open bracket fourth one plug key or switch closed a dot inside the bracket represents closed key fifth one a wire joint where a dot is representing joining of all the three wires sixth one wire crossing without joining and the symbol is given where there is no joint of wires seventh one electric bulb which is well known to you eighth one a resistor of resistance r which is represented with a zigzag line and you are going to learn much more about resistance in next video ninth one variable resistance or rheostat which is given with a arrow mark where variable of resistance can be done tenth one ammeter with positive and negative wires are given eleventh one voltmeter a symbol V with a positive and negative representation of terminal this is ends a second video I have given worksheet store that worksheet in answer sheet